Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to another Is It Worth Buying video. And in today's video, I feel like a lot of people probably will be looking for a more, um, what could I call it? Uh, a more realistic review because I feel like a lot of times um, people will review a video game and they're just going with the trend. You know, like, so if the trend is, oh, well, let's just continue giving this game um, bad reviews then yeah, there's going to be a bunch of people just randomly giving a good game bad reviews. And then if you, the, this is why like I feel like a lot of developers need to start doing that, but releasing a demo. And that's something where I'm like, no, it needs to be like how it was back in the day. Like I remember when PlayStation, bro, PlayStation, that's, that's how I was getting some of my entertainment growing up. Like it was like, it was a poor man way of playing a video game, but like, buying a $10 magazine that came with a demo disc that PlayStation was selling. Yeah, PlayStation used to sell these magazines. I actually still got these magazines till um still to this day. But um yeah, PlayStation used to sell these magazines and it came with PlayStation or like, you know, like demos and stuff. So um no, like they need to start doing things like that, but I just think that all games need to have uh, an issued out demo because if not then yeah there's gonna probably be a lot of people out there where they're all like they're wasting their money on a game and then yeah they play and i know like ea they do it with a lot of, or well not a lot but they do it with some of their games but i'm like no companies need to start doing that where they do like a 10 hour uh trial thing and i know people are like oh well i'm there's gonna probably be people out there playing the game within 10 hours i'm like okay well that's just showing uh to the developers that it's like you guys need to put more content in the game that's worth playing I'm just saying so but anyways um now let's overall talk on uh redfall um i yeah a lot of people have been giving this game bad ratings i played it i actually had got it for free because i had bought um a um nvidia a graphics card so uh and it was like so best buy sometimes like if you uh depending on what item you get you can get like a free game with it and i think there is one time i got marvel spider-man um there was another game that i got it was like this company of heroes i think and then uh yeah then um redfall so um i might have got what did i it, it was either the processor or if it was um it might have been the graphics card but one of the two i uh yeah i ended up getting redfall with it so um yeah i was just patiently waiting for the game to come out and based off of what i read it sounded like it was an appealing game so i played it i think it's good just if you're asking me, I think that the game is good. I do think that there should be some, uh, you know, patches and all those updates to, you know, fix the game to make it better. But I think as the time progress on and if you know whether you want to get the game now or wait until later. Um, yeah, I would. So if you are iffy about the game and I know there's at times where I'm iffy about games. So if you are iffy about the game, you don't have to buy it right now. I'm pretty sure they'll probably have it where this game is on sale like a few months from now, especially during the summer where I feel like a lot of people are going to most likely be home playing video games and crap. So anyways, um, you can wait, but based off of what I played, it ain't like it's a mad difficult game. It's open world. You're killing vampires and regular people. So it ain't like you're just strictly killing vampires like you are killing other people and stuff but um no like the story seems like it's chill um uh the environment seems like it's chilled visually it looks chill i know people have been going off on the game like uh like it doesn't look too good visually and i'm like bro that it trips me out because i'll hear stuff where people are like oh well it's like they make these games too realistic and that's why like these pcs be overheating or be you know being all out and stuff because they we got like these big old giant games i like the cartoony look i like it because i'm like hey look that means i ain't gotta do too much to the graphics graphic settings when playing it i will say though that they should work on the frame weight uh, frame rates not weight rate all right there's you know my younger me i had like a, a tongue issue when i was growing up so yeah there is there there is there's at times where some words will come out as like instead of yeah rate all right it almost happened again but it comes out as weight and i'm like bruh yeah i'm not all right i'm not in middle school no more okay you've grown out of this but anyways but no i would recommend that the uh, developers work on the frame rate of you know just because there are at times like if i'm like if i move too fast and the game kind of like you know be all choppy like and things so that's why i'm like i think they need to where there's a few games they need to work on that because you would think with a 
Nvidia uh, GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. You you would think you wouldn't have like no visual. I don't know if it's the graphics card or if it's a processor. I'm still learning things as I'm you know going along in my PC gaming journey and stuff. But yeah, it's like I think uh, if I do play it on the lowest settings, then it wouldn't. The game still looks nice even on the lowest settings. There's uh, another game out there that I play excuse me um dead island 2 where i played down the lowest settings and yeah it looks nice but it's just that that frame rate stuff it'd be messing the game up and i'm like bro what's going on i'm like you think you think you know put like uh freaking i think when i added it up like including the pc price it was like three thousand dollars i did to my pc like with just buying the pc and then with the upgrades like all together that stuff came up to three thousand dollars i'm like bro i should not be having no issues all right and no let me actually you know what no let me just check uh real quick there's this website called system requirements lab that i like going to when um games come out and of course i gotta i don't know why it's like i download this program every time when um i go and uh and it's like bruh i've downloaded this program before i'm like why does it always have to do that old weird stuff but let me uh see actually the um the like the settings and stuff because if if you have like around the same settings then it should be fine if you have something better than the settings that i have then yeah you should definitely be okay but yeah i think the only issue that i've seen so far is the frame rate issue and stuff so i'm like other than that gameplay it seems nice visually it looks nice um, where are some other things I can say? And that's not even me trying to, like, hyper-gas the game up. Yeah, it's like my, yeah, everything, it seems like it's, uh, chilled. So I'm like, yeah, my, you know, CPU, um, every, yeah, it's like everything. They say I can run, like, 99 of the top 100 most games, but I think, I think that's, um, incorrect because it's weird. They show I can run, like, 100% of, like, all games at the minimum and then 100% games at the recommended, so... I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know what, what they got going on on um, System Requirements Labs. But anyways, yeah, if you ask me, I think Redfall, it's a game worth buying. Um, but if you want to wait on it, I would definitely recommend waiting on it. If you can acquire it for free, then definitely uh, see if you could do it like that. But it'll probably have to come with. I, I would just, me personally, I just recommend buying it, playing it within that two-hour mark, doing as much as you can um and then seeing if you like the game and if you don't then yeah obviously get your money back but if you do like it then yeah continue playing it but